All right, so let's get right into it. Step one, you're going to want to download the latest Minecraft 1.12.2 Forge server installer, which it will look like this page. I'll put all this in the description and the steps are written out in the description if you prefer to go that route. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click download the latest installer. Uh, using a Windows computer, I'm pretty sure RL Crafts only on the Windows. But make sure you use download latest, not recommended, because if you use the recommended one, it will give you a bunch of errors. Use the latest one. All right, so when you're done, you're going to get an EXE that looks like this. I'm going to drag it to the middle of my desktop. It'll look just like that. So what I what I would do, I would right click, create new, create new folder. And I'm just going to name it whatever you want. I'm just going to go with YouTube server RL. Sure. Looks bad. Open up the EXE. Give it a second. You get this window and click install server. It will give you this error saying there's already a file uh, files at this target directory. Don't worry about it. Just click select alternative Minecraft directory. Click desktop and look for the folder that you just named. Mine is YT. If you pick pick it started with the letter Z, it'll appear at the end. It's alphabetical. Click open and then click OK. Wait for it to download all the libraries. All right. After that's complete, click OK. Then open up your server folder. And you'll see these new files in your folder. So step two is run the forge server, which is this, and let it go. It's going to take a bit. No big deal. It has to, as you see, it's downloading the logs, mods, EULA. And you might be wondering, why did nothing happen? Well, the reason why nothing happened is because it crashes immediately because you need to sign this. You'll get your, so step three is you'll get your EULA agreement form. What you do you see how it says here that EULA is false. Simply delete this and type in true. Hit control S to save and close it. Now, when you're done with that, just simply relaunch the server again. Now you actually get user interface. You'll see preparing spawn area, done. It's now running a just default forge server with no mods installed. We'll get to that next. So simply just click stop. And now you know your world's generated. What I would do at this point, there's probably a better way to do this, a better step you could have done, but I like making sure everything's working. Delete your world, because if you just leave it this way, it won't be modded when you're done with it. So, step four, or you could, there's really multiple ways you could do this. What I would, per, what I would just get out of the way now is make the run that bot, run dot bat folder in, so you can make the server have more RAM and run better. Especially if you have more people on it, you're going to need this. So, right click, click, Click new and click new text document. Doesn't matter what you name it because you're going to end up saving as something different anyway. So I'm going to put this file in the description. What you're going to want to do is use this command and then you click file, save as. Make sure you're saving into the folder where the uh, server is. Name it run.bat. And save, make sure when you save it, you click save type and you click save as all save type, save as type all files and then close it. Then you'll see a run.bat and you could delete your new text document because it's now no longer needed. Step five, you're going to want to go to the RL craft uh, forge page. I made a mistake here. You're going to, so the current version as of the time of this video will be beta six point or 2.6.3. Download the server pack, which should be right here. I'll put that in the description as well. Then you're going to get your server pack. I'll put it on my desktop. What I like to do, or what I would, would do, is right click it. I like extracting to my desktop, so I'll just right click. Uh, I have 7-zip, by the way. Click extract to. Wait for it to extract. Now open up your folder for your server again. Open up your RL craft server or your RLCraft server pack data, open up this folder. And what I do is drag all of this and drag it into your server folder. It'll take a couple seconds and make sure you click replace the files in the destination. So after you dragged everything in, you'll see there's a change log here from if you were on 2.5, which is probably the version if you were on the RLCraft like train when it started, it's probably the version you have, but I'm making one for the latest version. And this is a recommendation. You don't actually have to do this. It is 
it's helpful for keeping your server stable, but with how much RAM I gave it, I haven't had any issues, and I've been playing on a server with seven people or six people, and I haven't really had any issues after I've increased the RAM, but you could do this if you want. I'm not going to mess with any server properties, that's up for you, but if you want to change things on your server, you just simply click on the server properties and you can edit everything here. It's not necessary, but like if you want to make use a different port or something, you definitely need to do that. So like... Here, I'll enable, as the, as the thing recommended, I'll enable allow flight just to be sure. And I'll set the difficulty to hard. So that's done. So after that, make sure, let's click on the run.bat. It's going to take a bit to launch everything because now it has to go through all the mods. And uh, like I just uh, we just basically installed 150 plus mods. We have to wait for it to go through everything. Make sure it doesn't error out. It's going to be, you're going to see a lot of fails, a lot of errors, just ignore them, it happens. Everything will still be fine when it's done. Once you see the message done, your server is now ready to join. So, open up your RLCraft. And to see if you connect to your own server, type in, go on direct connect, and type in local host. Connecting, logging in. It's going to take a second, because this is the first time you're loading it, and I'm drowning. But, as you can see, your RLCraft server is now ready to join. If you need to look up a tutorial of how to port forward, you can do that. But, as it is, everything seems to be working fine. And I'm probably going to die. 